Good morning, everybody. I'm Coach Brian Champ from the San Francisco Bay Area, but right now I am filming in Lake Tahoe. I was doing my best to uh, show the lake in the background, but unfortunately, the lighting is not good when I try to do that. So, um, pretty decent house route, too. Uh, so, uh, anyway, so we are going to do a core cardio workout today. So, right now, I just kind of get those feet moving, and I'm going to go over the workout uh, momentarily. And just keep the feet moving. Let's get those heart rates up a little bit. Remember in the ideal world, if you can get here just a little bit earlier, or not even here, but if you could just foam roll a little earlier, stretch a little bit earlier, and uh, do some breathing with all that, and maybe just get those heart rates up a little bit. Heart rate's not as important, but at, at, for the most part, just get the, get the massage in and the breathing and the stretching in prior. We're going to do that on our own as well. You're going to get a better workout. Also, if you have music in the background you can put on, you're gonna also get a better workout. So just kind of remember that, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna check my microphone here real quick, sorry. And uh, make sure we got the right mic on. Yes, perfect. Uh, if there's anything that happens to go weird during the uh, recording, just you know, kind of give me a little signal, give me a little chat box and uh, let me know if uh, I can fix something, okay? Um, so if you have a big stability ball, grab it. Gliders, grab it. Jump rope, if you have a jump rope, grab it. Um, even in a little ankle band, we'll utilize that today if you have that piece of equipment. Otherwise, no worries, we'll, uh, we'll make do, okay? So uh, let's get loosened up here. Let's start off on the ground, from working from the ground up. Uh, let's get those uh, feet, and we're just gonna go up and down, heels and toes, slow, deep breaths, inhale, exhale. Just working our way from the ground up today on this beautiful Tuesday, up and down. Let's go toes out. So five stations today. We did five stations yesterday as well. We're gonna flip flop between two exercises, a very efficient way to get workouts in. Heart rate goes up on one exercise, heart rate goes down on another. Let's go toes in now, up and down. Let's get those ankles, breathe. Remember, want to initiate from the belly rib cage area. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, blow out through the mouth. As you blow out through the mouth, feel that belly draw in. Okay, now let's go knee circles. Let's get those knees loosened up. Remember, breathing is the key to life. It's the number one primal need. When we consciously slow down our breathing, everything is better. Inhale, exhale. Other direction. Ah, good. You hear any crackling in there? Not necessarily too bad. It just means things are not super smooth. But that happens over time. Let's get a little bit deeper. Let's go other direction again and just try to go a little bit deeper again listen to your body if something hurts don't go as deep other direction how are we doing there okay all right so again we're getting those ankles a little bit of hips but mostly knees all right forward and back forward and back we're going forward and back my feet are together knee bends inhale exhale Keep going, everybody. So remember, this is all important mobility work. So sometimes uh, I was talking with a, a client yesterday. Uh, someone was here. She was kind of warning me about her knees. And she was telling me how she needed to strengthen her knees in order to not continue the uh, arthritic pain that she's having. Let's do some hip circles. I was explaining to her that, well, that's, that's important, yes. We definitely need to do strengthening, but she was also telling me, well, I can't really do lunges and I can't really do squats. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's good. Um, but, you know, one thing you, we have to make sure we really focus on is the mobility. You can be strong only for so long before you break down other direction. So we have to do these mobility exercises in order to do our strength work. So lots of times people just go into strength work and they, they end up getting hurt. So we've got to have mobility, especially below, below the hands right now. 
his ankles and knees and hips. Okay, let's go side to side to side to side. Working on that hip mobility, side to side. Breathe, <sighs> inhaling, exhaling. All right, let's just go ahead and go a little wider with our feet. Toes are out, side to side. Notice what happens when you go to one side versus the other. Notice what, notice any sensations around the knees. Right now, as I go this way, I tend to feel my knee more on the right. It's a little bit tighter. Not necessarily a strength problem. It's a mobility, flexibility issue. All right, let's turn to the right. Go ahead and open up that back hip, tucking your back hip under. Okay, so I have my, my left leg back. Let's go ahead and reach up with your left arm. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, down. Keeping that glute squeeze on the back leg. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale. You can hold on to something. I happen to have a pole right here, which is kind of convenient. Inhale, deep breath in. And exhale. Let's switch sides. Other side. Turn it. All right, open up that back hip again, tuck those glutes, inhale, exhale. Lift up that back heel, deep breath in, reach, reach, reach. Exhale back, exhale, blow out through the mouth. Inhale, deep breath in, belly, rib cage expands. Exhale, good, all right, great. Come back, let's go ahead and rotate now. It's working our way up that chain. Let's get some trunk rotations in. One of our movements today is a Russian twist. Uh, if you have a stability ball, the big ball, we can lie on our back, with our head and shoulders on the ball. Otherwise, we will do a uh, line trunk rotation. Rotate, let's bring those arms up in different areas. Rotate, rotate. Keep going, everybody. Keep going. All right. Okay, hands behind the head. Called a prisoner position. Squeeze those uh, shoulder blades and squeeze your butt. Let's do some side bends. Side bend left, side bend right. Just keep going. Open everything up. Breathe. Ah. Inhale one way, exhale the other way. Couple more. Ah, good. Keep everything tall and lengthened, inhaling, exhaling. If you jumped on late, everybody, we're doing a core cardio workout today. 40 second inter intervals, three sets each. We're gonna do two exercise, exercises per station, and there's five stations. Okay, let's go from here into a good morning. Inhale forward, exhale up. So good mornings, wide feet, inhale, Exhale. You should feel your hamstrings right now on the down and then engage your glutes at the top. Inhale, hinge. Exhale. Don't go that deep if you feel any lower back issues. Inhale, let your belly go. Exhale, hinging. Let's reach now. Reach forward. Inhale, exhale. I'm going to turn to the side. Deep breath in. Reach, reach, reach. Chest is up. Exhale, two more, deep breath in, belly releases, let it go, exhale, draw the belly in, engage your pelvic floor, the bladder and the sphincter muscles, and the last one, okay, let's just get, I just want to loosen up those hips a little bit more, let's get one leg, giant step here, called the hurdler stretch, there we go, open and close, hip, hip opener, uh, the other day, uh, yesterday, seems so long ago, other side, I mentioned uh, Lori's hip yoga class she did on Sunday. She did a good hip opener yoga class. Some of you were there. Remember that class um, and, all, and all the yoga sessions are on my YouTube channel. So, but it was a really good one on, on Sunday if you have some tight hips. So check it out. Ah, good. All right. So let's let's go over these these movements, Chris. So if you could start off, and you guys just jog in place for a moment, okay? So the first movement is a, a stability ball 
or push up pike. Okay. Um, so you're going to start off. I'm going to actually show it. Okay. Yeah, she's going to come all the way forward. Okay. <laughs> Use the entire floor here. All right. I was going to go next to her, but okay. So we're going to be in push up position. You guys jog real quick. And how about some arm circles? Okay. So in push up position, what we're going to do, we're going to be real strong, belly drawn in. She's going to attempt to bring her hips up. That's a jackknife. That's a modification. Good. Okay. We're going to go hips up, straight legs. Straight legs right there. <laughs> All right. Good. Exhale up. <sighs> Inhale down. All right, perfect. Good, and I'll, I'll show that also without the ball. If you don't have a ball, we're doing the same thing. Um, you can do a gliders, feet could be on the gliders as well. Okay, on your back, Chris. Why don't we just stay on this mat, though? If you can uh, stay on your personal area. That would be great. All right, let's put the feet on the ball. We're gonna alternate with leg curls, okay? So hands on the ground. Again, feet could be on gliders. We do not, not have gliders today. All right, actually I have gliders, I just don't glide on this, this surface. All right, this is our leg curls, okay? Up and down, perfect. So that's gonna be station one. Next, mountain climbers. All right, let's all do that one together. Okay, mountain climbers, if you have gliders, put your feet on gliders. Okay, push up position. We're just gonna do a little bit of a step forward, step back. Chris is doing a little crossover mountain climber, which works. That works a little more obliques, or just straight up, your choice. So that is our mountain climbers. Next, we're gonna go to glider or non-glider speed skaters. We're gonna go right here. So speed skaters, let's stand it up, everybody. Let's rock it. There we go. Speed skaters, cross and cross. Just stay, let's go ahead and stay right on the mat, Chris. All over the place today. <laughs> <laughs> just stay right on the mat. <laughs> keep going. I don't so, like you don't like, I don't like being confined. <laughs> All right, keep going, everybody. A couple speed skaters. So, on station two, we're gonna alternate between the speed skaters and the mountain climbers. No, station three, Russian twists. Okay, head on the ball, or uh, sit, up, sit on the ball first. Okay, just jog in place, everybody. Actually, let's get those trunks ready. Rotate, rotate, high hips. You're gonna go ahead and put your hands together. We're gonna to rotate onto a shoulder, center, rotate onto the other shoulder, center, okay? If you uh, do not have that ball again, we are gonna be on our backs and we're gonna do the Russian twist so the knees go right to left. Okay, hold on right there. Using the ball again. So today's the ball day. Okay, go forward, oblique crunch. Okay, walk back a little bit. We never do these. I don't think I've done these in five months now. We're gonna go all the way down and come up, rotate a little bit and down, get a big stretch. So a crunch on the ball. We're gonna do a crunch on the mat if you don't have a ball. So I'm gonna do all these things without a ball. Uh, she's gonna do them with the ball, if you have that. All right, next, station four, the icky shuffle. Standing up, let's go icky shuffle. We're gonna go in, in, out, in, in, out, and we're gonna move forward. In, in, out, in, in, out, okay? So that is our cardio station. This is a cardio station, no core. And then we're gonna do jump rope with imaginary jump rope, any way you wanna do it. If you have a jump rope, great, but you don't need one. That's station four. Number five is beast with hip extension. So let's go on all fours, okay? Good. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving. Don't stand around. Breathe while you're hanging out. All right. Hands under the shoulders, knees off the ground a little bit. If that's all you can do, that is great. But we're going to try to get that leg up into hip extension. Okay? Yes, good. Keep going. We're going to go 20 seconds per side. We're going to go up and down. And I'm holding her core and I'm engaging her or making sure she's engaging her core so she doesn't arch her back. 20 seconds on each side. And the final thing is an ankle band, if you have it, a little bit of sidewalk here. Okay, it may be too much of a pain in the butt to put that on and off. So we're just gonna go on our side and do the Jane Farmers on the side. Laying down. Lying down, yes. And that is it. So let's get ready. We're going um, the push up pike. So, Chris, you wanna grab the ball? and we're doing leg curls. So push up pikes and leg curls for our first station, everybody. And again, so if you have gliders, that works perfectly well. All right, you ready, Chris? Yep. Everybody ready out there? Let's have some fun. 40 second interval. So this is a core station, core station. So feet on the gliders or feet on the ball. She's making her way to, the, to, uh, to her feet. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Here we go, we're on. Let's go, let's go. Okay. 
And again, ideally start way over there so I can actually get in here as well. <laughs> but I can't do the workout because you took the entire workout space. Oh, okay, so walk out there. I'm going to go here, guys. Okay, Chris is hopefully not going to hurt me. So hold that plank position, belly drawn in. We're going up and down. Up and down. This is what it looks like if you don't have the gliders. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Come on now. Belly drawn in. Small movement. If, if you want to make this easier, put your hands on your couch. Almost there. Come on. Keep it tight. Gliding with those gliders is fun, isn't it? Time. Good. Okay. All right. Not sure why I didn't hear the time go off on that one. Leg curls, number two. Okay. Feet on the ball. Ready. Set. Go. Here we go. Good, good, good. Good. Breathing, everybody. So hips are up. Now, 40 seconds is a long time, right? So do the, you, you can put your butt down in between. So Chris, stop right there. Butt down. Rust. Butt up. Bridge. Perfect. Good. Halfway. Great. Good. Leg curls. We're going to be flip-flopping between these two core exercises. So today's workout is not necessarily core and cardio, back and forth core and cardio. It is going to be a core station or a cardio station. A little different than usual. Three, two, one. Time. Okay. 10-second transition. We'll go back to Pike. So, Chris, you're going to need to start way over here. Yep. Perfect. All right. Good. Okay. Ready and go. Here we go, everybody. Perfect, right there. So Chris is doing a jackknife, so she's modifying, and that works perfectly fine. So jackknife is when you have bent knees. A pike is when you have straight legs. Nice work, everybody. I'm gonna have to say uh, the halfways and the three second countdowns. Halfway, good, belly drawn in. Every time you come up, exhale. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Keeping that belly in. You can also just hold it when you get tired. Five seconds. Come on. Four, three, two, one, and time. Okay. Back on your back to leg curls. Awesome. Let's check you out over here, everybody. So leg curls, three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Let's rock it. Breathe. All right, everybody. We got 30 of you out there. 30 people. Breathe? Of people doesn't have a ball. You're using gliders. We don't have a glider. Okay, bridges. Okay, thanks. Yes. So it's just a it's just a bridge movement. Halfway. Yep. You could also walk out your feet. So so Chris can do this here as well. So do a bridge for me. Like yeah, that actually works. Bridge? Yep. Or yeah. So we can do the bridge, and then we can walk out the feet, and we can walk the feet back in. Three two, one, and time. Great. Okay. Awesome. Let's go back to that first one. Okay. Back to that first exercise. You got it, everybody. Three, two, one, go. Let's see it. All right. So again, and also if you don't have gliders, but you have say carpets, you could use paper plates. If you have uh, hardwood floors or a slippery floor, you could use your socks. So we all got some surface. You just got to find it in a close by environment, right? Halfway, keep going. Keeping the belly in everybody. Remember, when you get tired, when you get stressed, we start holding our breath, whether it be um, while we're working out or while we're just dealing with everyday life activities. Three, two, one, to really, really become aware of when you're holding your breath and when you're not. Time, good. Let's go to that final one. Let's do it. I'm sorry, we got one more station, right? Yeah, one more. Here we go. Last one. Ready? Go. Here we go. Leg curls. Awesome. And again, if you guys could, uh, for the future too, not right now, but just if I could see you, I see a lot of ceilings and a lot of other things, but I can't really see everybody working on the ground. So three, two, one is the halfway point. Keep going. Halfway. Nice. Good job, everybody. High hips get rest if needed. Okay. And uh, consider if you don't have gliders, that's a definite um, purchase to get. These are really, really inexpensive uh, tools that you'll use forever. Give me five seconds, four, 
three, two, and time. Good job, everybody. Awesome work. Rest. Grab your, you could grab your knees to your chest if you like, if you're still down there, but we're going to rest for 30 seconds. I don't expect the heart rate to go up, but that's where we are. Awesome. We got Michelle out there. Awesome. Good, good job, everybody. So station one done. Three sets of each. Good work. All right. We got about 15 seconds till go time here to our cardio station, I believe. Let me take a look at that in a moment. One moment here. Okay. All right. So next we have my other view on. Okay. Next station is uh, mountain climbers and speed skaters. Okay. So again, if you have the gliders, you can put your feet on the gliders. We're not going to use it with gliders. Um, so, but you can if you like, okay? So let's get in that push-up position. Are you ready? In three, two, one, and go. Here we go. So mountain climbers, again, if you want to make it easier, just like that uh, pike, put your hands on a couch or an elevated surface. Breathe, belly drawn in. Little pulses through the mouth. Push into the ground hard, halfway. So when you push into the ground, you keep your shoulders back and down. Keep driving, everybody. Give me 10 seconds, nine, eight. This station's gonna get your heart rate up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, speed skaters team. Okay, so Chris, stay right there. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to cross forward or cross back, I'm sorry, each time. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's do it. Cross, cross. Again, I can modify. Nice and easy. Go a little farther, a little more explosive to make it harder. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Drive. Drive. 20 seconds. Good job, everybody. Come on now. Speed skaters. There we go, stay low, hinge. So Chris, can you come down a little bit more, flat back? There we go, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Back to mountain climbers again. Make it easier. So Chris, if you wanna make it easier, let's put your hands on the ball. Ready guys, three, two, one, go. Let's put our hands here. And we're just gonna go. We can modify. Just an idea. She's looking at me crazy. She's not wanting to do that. Keep going. Here we go. Come on, drive it. Chest is up. Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Push into the ground. Lock your shoulders back and down. Yep. So Chris is doing the crossover mountain climber. We have 14 seconds left. Remember, modify by bringing your hands higher, keeping your belly in. Eight seconds, seven, six, five. Pick it up a little bit. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Good job. Let's go to speed skaters, everybody. Cross. Notice what I'm doing with my hands. We've got four seconds to the actual go time. Three, two, one. We are on officially. Go. Here we go. So I'm crossing, crossing. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Driving. Now you could also go hand behind your back. Whatever works for you. Let's go. Let's see it, everybody. Let's see it. See those heart rates out there? Come on, give me a push. So let's get up a little bit more. I want to get about a 7, 8 on a 10 scale if you don't have a heart rate monitor. We have 14 seconds left. 7, 8 on a 10 scale. 8 is when you turn orange. Here we go. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, you see all these folks about to turn orange. All right, good job. Let's go back into the mountain climbers. Here we go, third set, best set. All right, okay, belly drawn in. Let's see it. All right, how you doing out there, Julie and team? I don't know who else out there. Yeah, go, let's go. Yeah, we're going, we're going, everybody. Breathe. So let's all push your hands into the ground hard to throw your shoulders back and down. I did forget that modification that uh, Julie and team are doing out there. They're doing the standing mountain climber. So that is another variation. But the cool thing is if you got that couch near you, you can just, oh, you can all put your hands on it together. it be fun. Keep going everybody. Six seconds, five, four, three. Looking good, Michelle. You still got it out there. 
two, one, time. All right, great job. Okay, let's go back into those speed skaters. Final set. We got uh, three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Final set here, speed skaters. So again, just like the equipment, uh, you don't have to have a heart rate monitor, okay? I, I would love for you to have a heart rate monitor because we can personalize the workout for you a little bit more. But, um, you know, these are all bonus, bonus tools, right? In the ideal world, we have the perfect equipment, the perfect house, the perfect everything. <laughs> but uh, we can still work out. It's all good. Give me 13 more seconds, everybody. Come on. Final push. 10 seconds. Come on, Patty. Come on, girl. You got this. Come on, EJ. You're working hard out there. All right, Chris has died on her heart rate monitor. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Terrific. Okay, 30 second transition. 30 second transition. Okay, perfect. So recover for a moment. Breathe. Okay, we're going to go back to a core station. There we go. All right, our core workout. We're going to do the Russian twist and the oblique crunch. Okay. I'm going to show you the modification without the ball. So um, the Russian twist is here. On your back, we're going to rotate right, center, and left. Okay? You have something you can throw in between your knees that adds an additional challenge. Okay? And then the oblique crunch, we're going to go, let's go wide feet. Okay? Wide open feet. We're going to come up, inhale down. Exhale up. That is our modification if you do not have a Swiss ball. Okay, Chris, you ready? Russian twist. Okay, we're start right at the top of the mat and walk forward, everybody. Ready? Set. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Let's do it. So if you have your stability ball, you want to make sure you keep your hips up. Okay? I know a lot of you don't have a stability ball. I'm also encouraging you to get one by having these exercises with the ball because we can do so much with it keep going 25 seconds left come on now high hips if you're on that stability ball if you're on the ground belly drawn in and rotate right rotate left halfway i'm sorry more than halfway we got 12 seconds left 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 Time, okay, oblique crunches. So sit on the ball, so you're gonna sit on it, and now you're gonna walk forward right there. Good, belly drawn in, let's go everybody. Down and up, here we go. So the benefit of being on the ball is that we can get a greater range of motion. So the whole point is you can go back over the ball, get a stretch. Yep, there you go. So you don't need to come up too high, inhale down, exhale up, does that feel okay? All right, good. Good, so when you're on the ground, it's fine. You just can't get that increased range of motion. All the way down, all the way up. 13 seconds left. Inhale down, exhale up. Yes, good work, everybody. <sighs> Inhale, get that stretch and up. Great work. Three, two, one, time. Okay, let's go back to the Russian twist. And I forgot, some of you out there have the stability disc or a BOSU ball. You can do that as well, okay? Three, two, one, Russian twist, great. I'm gonna show you the uh, on your back version. All right, all right. So I know a lot of you are doing the Russian twist on your back, so right here is fine. Anchors to the side, rotate, center, rotate, center. You wanna make it harder? Extend your legs. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep the belly in on the line Russian twist. Get those anchors. Keep going, everybody. Few more. Eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Okay. Oblique crunches if you're on the ground, with, like I am. Get ready. Three, two, one. We're going to come up. Inhale down. Exhale. Keep going. You don't need to come up very high. Move from your obliques. Keep your belly in the whole time. Exhale as you come up. Inhale down. Exhale up. 
Here you go. And you can support your neck a little bit, but don't pull on the neck. Support it with your fingers. Keep going. We got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, I'm watching you. Rush and twist. Let's go. On your back. Or yeah, either way, you're on your back. Get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. All right. Rotate right, rotate left. If you're on your back, put your arms to your sides. Anchor the ground. If you're on the ball, make sure your hips are up. That's the number one thing that people will, uh, will do when they're on the ball. They drop their hips. It's tough. Roll onto your shoulder. Come on now, team. We got 17 seconds left. Again, we're not worried about heart rates right now. They're not going up. Very little. It's okay. We're isolating those core muscles, those obliques. You got it. Woohoo! Looking good, everybody. Remember, straighten out your legs if you want to make it harder. We got three, two, one, and time. Great job. Okay, let's get back on it. Let's go back onto those oblique crunches now. Remember, we got these 10-second transitions. Belly drawn in wherever you are, and let's exhale, go. Here we go. Inhale down, exhale up. Great. I'm watching Elena out there under stability ball. Get that nice stretch, Elena. Nice. That's awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight Elena. She's looking pretty good. There's, there's Elena right here. She's coming up and rotating. Awesome. See how she's going all the way down over the ball? You can't do that on the ground. Keep going. 15 seconds. Inhale, stretch it out. And you don't need to even come up that high, right? If you come up too high, you actually take the tension off your abdominal muscles. You notice that? That's good, Linda. Yep. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Station three done. Woo! -hoo. All right. Good work. Okay, you know what that means. We're going back to cardio. So the heart rates are going to go up again. Right now they're down. I'm not even turning on the, uh, the, uh, the heart rate monitors. So we're going to go icky shuffle. So in slow motion, it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Say it in your head, left, right, left, or go in and out. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Now, let's move forward. In and out, in and out. Keep going. Good, keep it going, everybody. In and out, in and out. We're gonna go to jump rope in a second. You don't have a jump rope or you don't like to jump rope? Imagine you have a jump rope and you're really good at it. I'm better at jump roping without a jump rope than I am with a jump rope. Keep going, 12 seconds, 11, 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, great. So imaginary jump rope, if you don't have your own jump rope, and you're really good at it, I know it. Okay, so put your, your arms straight, and we're just gonna move the fingers, okay? All right, let's go up and down. I want you to be on the balls of the feet right now. Let's go. Balls of the feet, lift up your toes. So Chris is doing a little hip hop, that works. So she's going right and left. Whatever works for you. You can do a jog, but I do want you to imagine your eyes with your eyes closed right now, the rope is going underneath your feet every time. So lift up your feet a little bit. Again, if you shouldn't be lifting up your feet because your knees hurt or something, don't do that. Just go easy. March. Anything you can do is fine. We're getting movement, guys. We're doing great. Keep it going. We got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. We're going back to icky shuffles. Ten seconds. 10 seconds. So this is our cardio station. Heart rate's up for about three and a half minutes. Three, two, one. Here we go. In and out. In and out. Let's go. When you hear the halfway, I'm going to tell you what it is today. I want you to go a little bit faster, okay? Keep going. So when I bring those heart rates in, I hope that it motivates you to work a little harder and smarter. Listen to your body above all. Keep going. Ready. Halfway. Now I want you to pick it up a little bit. Just pick it up a little bit more if you feel okay. Okay? Again, I'm always going to tell you, I'm always going to try to push you, but just if you didn't sleep very well last night, any injuries, go a little easier, okay? Okay? Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. Okay. All right. Let's go to that imaginary jump rope. And again, training smarter is really the key of heart rate training. 
Go, here we go. Jump rope, everybody. Let's check you out. Let's check you out. Who's got a jump rope out there? Let's see. Who's got that jump rope? <laughs> All right, imaginary jump rope. You guys are really good with that jump rope. It's amazing. Keeping those arms straight. If you do have a jump rope or you want to get good at jumping rope, keep your arms straight and just move your fingers. You got to spin the rope. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Come on, Gabby, Shannon. Cheryl's out there. She's working. Come on, John. You got it, everybody. Check out those numbers. We got five seconds. Pick it up a little bit more. Four. We're going to rest for 10 seconds in a second. Three, two, one, and time. Okay. All right. Go. Here we go. Time. Rest for a second. Good, good, good. Doing great. Doing great. Get ready for those icky shuffles in three, two, one. Go. Icky shuffles. In and out. In and out. Moving the feet. Moving the feet. Forward. Moving forward a little bit. Quick feet. So our last set. Breathe. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Halfway point. Nice job, everybody. Quick, quick feet. Moving forward, moving back. Say it in your head if you're having trouble. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Nine seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and great. Okay. Final set of jump ropes, final set of jump ropes. Come on now. This is a tough cardio station. Let's see it. Get ready in three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Now, in order to make the speed agility work easier on your joints, remember, toes up. Lift your toes up and land on the ball of your foot. Land on the ball of your foot. Your joints will like you a lot longer. 18 seconds. Come on. Any kind of jump rope you want. You want to do a little jogging jump rope, a lateral jump rope, forward back jump rope. Come on now. Pick it up. Linda's working out there. Seven. Come on, Adam. We got one in the level. There it is. Five, four, three. Elena. Come on, Elena. Two, one. Time. Elena got it. Johnny's so close to 1%. All right. Good. I was waiting for John to go up a little bit more, but maybe next time. One little level, John. All right. Okay. Core station. How are we doing, Chris? All right. We are going to use the band right now if you have it, an ankle band. Okay. Again, do you need it? No. All right. So, but if you have it, put it around one ankle or both ankles. We'll start with that, I guess. Okay. So, we're going to go like this if you have an ankle band. Or if you don't, we're going to do the Jane Fonda. I'm going to be Jane. Chris is uh, Chris. Ready? Three. So if you don't have an ankle band, or maybe you have an ankle band, you could do it with an ankle band too. And go. Here we go. We're going to go 20 seconds on each side. Keep going. Chris and anybody out there who has an ankle band, keep doing straight legs. Everybody's straight legs. Breathe. Good job, everybody. Make sure your hips are stacked. They tend to rotate. Switch sides. Quick switch, quick switch. Keep going, come on, breathe. Looking good, we're working on those outer hip muscles. Let's get 10 seconds more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Okay, that's only beast. Okay, on all fours. Here we go. I'm going to do it without my knees on the ground. I'm just going to extend. Inhale, exhale. Chris is going to lift her knees up. Chris is not going to lift her knees up. Okay. So if you can, lift your knees up. I'm going to lift my knees up then. Fine. Three, two, one. Other side. Inhale, exhale. Keep going, everybody. With or without knees on the ground. Incorporate the breathing. Give me about 10 more seconds. Come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Okay. Let's get back on your, uh, on your side. You could do the, the first one I did, or we did this one the other day. Side leg raise in side plank. 
you want to make it a little easier, bend your bottom knee. Let's all try this one. Come on. Keep it going, everybody. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, high hips, two, one. Switch sides. Come on now. Side plank, bottom knee bent makes it a heck of a lot easier. Chest up, side plank. Want to stack those hips. Elbow right under the shoulder. Again, we're working those outer glutes. So any way you do this, this is a lot harder though. Come on, give me five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, that was actually really tough. Okay, good work. Let's go back into the beast, everybody. Back into the beast on all fours. I'm gonna watch you though. Three, two, one, and go. Not worried about heart rates here. Isolation. We're almost done. Good job. So you got a few different ways to do this. So Linda's going the bent knee, which is great. I'm gonna highlight her for a moment. Awesome job, keep working out there. Actually looking like she's frozen out there. I don't know what happened, there it is. All right, other side, switch, there you go. Looking good, Linda. So Linda's got the knees off the ground, that's the beast position, and bent knee. You could also go straight leg. So just a little variation. Come on, give me, keep it going, let's go 10 more seconds, nine. Eight, looking great, Linda. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time, okay, let's finish this up. Side plank or the standing band. Are you ready? In three, two, one, and go. Is this our third set? This is it. My God, keep it going. I'm watching you guys, I'm watching you. Good, 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 good. Eric, you got a little band? You got a band there, bud? You got a band, okay, cool. You got a few folks of bands out there, that's great. Keep working, guys. Halfway, let's transition. Let's transition, you got it. This is it and we are done. This is it. Give me 10 more seconds right now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, I just want to do one last bonus. Let's get those heart rates up for one minute and we'll call it a day, all right? Ready, one minute, ready. Let's jog in place, go. Jog in place, I know you can't see me, but let's, let's go. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what, I, I, my bad, yes. Chris reminded me, I didn't know which one we did, okay. Okay, back to beast. <laughs> Let's go back to beast on all fours. I know you guys are looking at me. All right, ready? I switched the one because Chris put her band on first. She threw me off. All right, ready? Beast position, three, two, one, go. Come on now, come on now. Knees are up if you can. Extend those legs. Get those glutes to fire. Nice. Good job. Knees barely off the ground if you can. Otherwise, keep the knees on the ground. Good, good, good. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Yes. Perfect. Other side. Pushing into the ground to lock your shoulders back and down. There you go. Come on. We got that bonus coming up. Got the bonus coming up. Be ready for it. Seven seconds away. Then we're going to do our one minute cardio. Three, two. I know you would have felt cheated if we didn't finish this last one. One. Time, okay, now let's get to the one minute of cardio. Let's just go into a jog. You see Chris jogging right there? So we're going to a jog. Let's do a little red light, green light. I'm not, you, you can't see me and that's okay. So I want you to listen to what I'm saying. So red light is a jog, green light is a sprint to full out max, okay? Let's go green right now, go. Green, green, green. We're going green, green, green. We're only going one minute, guys. One minute of intensity. Red, red light means slow it down, but keep moving your feet, jog. Jog is slow, a sprint is fast. Green, go, pick it up, green, green, green. Yes, fast feet, lift up your toes, ball of the foot, red, red, slow it down. Green, pick it up, reaction drill. You gotta rely on your auditory information. There's nothing to see right now, except for your heart rates. Red, 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 red. Green, go, 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 come on. 
Come on, pick it up. We got 25 seconds. Red, green, pick it up. That's stop and go, that's stop and go. Red, green, pick it up. 15 seconds, green, 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 keep it going. Keep your sprint up. Let's just keep sprinting for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, green or three, two, even green or one, time. Okay, march it out. Great job, everybody. Just a little, little bonus there for those who can hang out with us for a while. All right, here's our numbers. All right, we still got the 300 plus calorie range. Good job. All right. And Chris is uh, got a little wacky there. I don't know what happened there. And Patty, too. You got, you got zero calories, Chris. All that work. All that work. So sometimes, again, you just pop out of the class um, and uh, those calories don't get accumulated. So, but good job, everybody. Good job. Let's go ahead and just stretch it out. Breathe. All right, let's just go ahead and do a little calf hamstring hinge. So stick that booty out, toes to the nose. Uh, switch it up. How's your breathing here? So we have a little altitude here in Tahoe, so Chris doesn't normally do well with altitude. Did you notice a difference? I did. You did. And that's a good training up. It is good training, yes. We're going to be in shape when we go back to the Bay Area. Yeah. <laughs> Altitude training. Okay, let's come on down. Let's do a pigeon. I haven't done a pigeon in a while. So, let's Welcome, do, let's welcome to my life. I'm three and a half thousand feet above sea level. What was that? I'm three and a half thousand feet above sea level. Oh, there you go. You're always in shape. All right, let's take that left leg back. Try to keep your hips square. In the ideal world, we walk the front leg out and try to get our hips back. I'm not that flexible. Okay, if you can, make it to the ground. Let's try to get your nose in line with the middle of your shin, the middle of your shin, not your knee. Lots of folks try to they do it like this. Notice I'm sitting on my right glute. I want that, that to be square. I want your hips to be square. There's a song about hips to be square, I believe. Hips to be square. I think it, it, it's hip, hip to oh, be hip square. hip to be square, yeah. It's close enough. Yui Lewis. Yui? Hui. We actually know the guy. We met him. Don't spread rumors. <laughs> we do. We, we, we met him backstage once. Switch. Cool. He didn't like me. You like Chris, but not me. I don't know why. An interesting story, actually. Let's come on down. So yeah, we uh, we uh, we knew somebody that uh, knew Yui Lewis, and we were backstage, and we did a photo with him. I was on one side of him, and Chris was on the other, and he said, "No, I don't want you next to me." Basically, he said, "You go on the other side, next to your wife." For whatever reason, he did not want me next to him. I don't know. You're, you're still hurt. I am hurt, still to this day. Slow, deep rest. He wanted me as far away as possible. Absolutely, everybody is far away. All right, let's bring it. To a knee together position. Bring your knees together and let's just try to sit on your heels. Yes. Yep. Come all the way down. Put your feet down on the ground. Toes down. There you go. And now sit all the way back. Yes. There you go. Now, yep. Try to bring your hands back. Yep. All the way back. The way you're, what we did on Sunday. All the way back. I just can't do it because of my uh, knee. There we go. But Chris can. Open up those hips now, Chris. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Let's try to open up the hips here. So this is great if you can do this. Let's try to lift up your hips. There you go. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So we're getting the hip flexors, quads. Just do what you can. Okay. Breathe. And the shoulders. And we're getting the shoulders. Yes. Shoulders so if you right. turn your hands, we're going to open up that chest and shoulder right here. Yeah. Yes. So we got the hips up too. Let's lift everything up. Perfect. All right, again, this is totally fine. I'm just sitting down. 
Let's try to work on my range of motion here. I can turn my hands this way, chest is up, inhale, exhale, breathe. All right, child's pose, everybody. Reach forward. Oh, good, just reach it forward. Hang out there as long as you like. I'm gonna shut this thing down. Remember our word of the week this week is passion. So find your passion, everybody, and live it. Find your passion and live it, okay? So uh, if you're not doing something you love, if you're not waking up excited every morning to go to work or just go on with your day, what can make you more excited? So think about something you love that maybe you don't do anymore and just incorporate that into your life a little bit. That could definitely help. So if you, I uh, said yesterday, if you're you know, an artist but you haven't been painting, think about doing, doing a little bit of painting this week. Do something, okay? So let's have a great rest of the week, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this Tuesday. Have a lovely rest of the day and hope to see you tomorrow with Coach Ray. Take care, everybody. I'll be here. Thanks, Brian. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Brian. Thank okay. you all.